Hello everybody, this is John Bishop. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Socialize plugin, uh, what it does, and some of the new features I've added. So let's jump right in. What is Socialize? Socialize is a WordPress plugin that selectively adds actionable social bookmarks to your website. What does that mean? In the past, you've had to add uh, custom meta fields. So you would have to go down to your custom fields and edit a bunch of values and uh, you know dig equals true and so forth float left float right to display uh, bookmarks across your website or you have to be okay with the same bookmarks being displayed across your entire site uh, another problem I have with other WordPress plugins that display bookmarks is the bookmarks aren't actionable enough they're very tiny and hard to find or they require multiple clicks to rec to do what you're trying to do so with this plugin I use only actionable social bookmarks and what, what I mean by that is all the buttons are either official or displays some sort of uh, share count so on Twitter it displays the number of twi tweets uh, Google Buzz number of buzz uh, buzz shares and I've created uh, my own delicious button that shows the number of shares on delicious the official stumble upon button and so forth uh, you can only get this button the delicious button if you use the socialized plugin so on top of using actionable buttons, I want it to be easy to uh, select which pages you want to display the buttons on. So for some uh, marketing pages, for example, I might decide I want to display spin and dig buttons as opposed to Twitter and Facebook buttons. Or maybe on a page that deals with some web development issues, I might use DZone. Um, so these, the social bookmarks are relevant directly to the post, and it's not you know a spray and pray approach. So. I think the best part about this is the way we at the way we manage uh, the bookmarks themselves and what the plugin does is it adds this custom meta box on your posts page, posts and pages page it allows you to selectively add the bookmarks of your choice so if I go in and I change uh, and say I want to display Facebook and Yahoo buzz instead of Twitter and Google buzz and update my post and I refresh you will see Facebook and Yahoo Buzz uh, being displayed. All right, I've also added the ability to hide what I call the alert box. What is the alert box? The alert box is another very important part of the Socialize plugin. Uh, what it does is it displays uh, an actionable area below your posts that encourages users to leave a comment or subscribe to your feed. You can also display buttons in this little alert box. The alert box is completely customizable in the settings panel. So let's go over the settings panel a bit right now. So I've added a, a, some new settings to the panel if you're not uh, familiar with it before. Uh, the first one is the ability to change where the buttons are displayed inside the content. So the buttons that displayed at the top of the post, you now have the ability to float those buttons to the left or the right. Um, per popular demand, I've added the ability to uh, choose where you want the buttons to be displayed so for example on my own website I only want them to be displayed on the pages on individual pages or individual posts I have no need for them on the front page or on any of the archives pages and by the way the archives pages includes categories tags uh, dates and author archives you can choose to display the buttons in research results and another request was the ability to add the buttons to your feed so now I've added that as well if you scroll down to alert box settings, you can disable the alert box across the entire website, and you have the ability of editing the text uh, within the alert box. By default, or, uh, it pulls your default WordPress feed, which is yourwebsite.com slash feed. I've inserted my feed burner feed here, so go do uh, what you have to do. And by default, the background color of the alert box is an orangish color that seems to be pretty popular across the web. Um, I've customized it for my own website so that it displays a lighter uh, gray color to match the rest of the site. So you can change that. It just you need to use a, hexade a hexadecimal value for that. Down here, you get to choose which buttons you want to use. I've included two types of Twitter buttons and two types of Facebook buttons. Uh, the difference between Twitter buttons is you know tweet meme and back type. I prefer back type, but I know a lot of people use tweet meme. You can change the Twitter source here. Uh, Facebook buttons. I was originally using a Facebook image, but I decided to sit, switch to the official share button. Uh, the problem with the official share button, though, is if you don't have any shares, the button is a lot 
is not as tall so it doesn't really match the rest of the buttons so I've kept the Facebook share me button and I continue to use it myself and we already went over the individual post settings but this is where you can set uh, the social bookmark settings across the entire website so say you don't want to individually select posts you can uh, add the default ones here and um, that's what will always be used um, I hope you like it uh, I've worked very hard on some of the new buttons and to make sure it works on WordPress 3.0 uh, please try it out and let me know what you think